Coach Seiko, tough tournament today. Uh, I think you guys once again got put in the toughest division in Division One, right? It's where we want to be. Yes, and uh, I saw some matches I like seeing. Got to watch Max versus uh, uh, Jaggers. I like that match. It's a good match, hard fought match. But uh, overall, what was your guys' record here today? Uh, we were three and two. We dropped a nail biter to Palmer and a nail biter to Brooksville. And that's what you want out of the guys. You want them to get to battle tested, right? Yeah. They, I got a team that's not very battle tested. They're pretty young. When you come into something like this and then you stack it back to back with your own event, which is a national level event, what do you want a guy like, you know, your son to get out of it and the other guys who are going to stick around and be here tomorrow for West Shore? Well, yeah, you know, you know my theory on that. I try to bring the best teams in the country so my kids can wrestle without traveling. You know, we just got back from Virginia Beach. We had our hands full out there. It was a fantastic tournament. Um, and then we come home next weekend with another grade school state duels and then jump right into defense oak duels. So that schedule is really loaded. We, we uh, load the schedule heavy right now. Uh, I think we got what, Powerade next and then Tulsa. And then we get into the qualifiers for the state and, you know, competition lightens up a little bit. Some of our kids will have 20 losses before we get to the state tournament and, and we expect to see them on the podium. So it's just the way it is. Max Sick will probably have double digit, right? Oh, yeah. When it comes to. Uh, you know, defense sub duels, and then obviously look at national middle school duels. He took some lumps there. So you like that, though? Yeah, and I expect him to go through the state tournament without giving up a point. You know, it may not happen, but that's my plan. I look at the Eagles, you know, the varsity Eagles, and you coach all those guys. I just had Gus, your son, on a, on a podcast, and, you know, we talked. Football kind of almost kills their chance at winning the national title because they make this damn state championship in football, right? Well, Ohio's really good at having long seasons. What, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Talk to me. What well, is Ohio doing? Well, I'll tell you what we're doing as we're screwing ourselves is our, our school system screw these kids by not letting them wrestle in clubs and their school. You go to Pennsylvania, they wrestle for their school on Saturday and they wrestle for the club on Sunday. And they get twice as many matches. And if you look, where are all the tough wrestlers coming from? And not to go down a rabbit hole, but when you get tough wrestlers, you get kids that get scholarships, you get educated people bringing education back to your state. So Ohio is just screwing themselves on the whole thing. It's really hard for St. Edward to win without Nate Gregory at the Ironman and no, we're not gonna yeah. do. Slaper. No. Uh, both first team all state linebackers Brad and then Leaton. probably the best guy, the best athlete in Ohio, Brad Leaton. Those three guys aren't on your team and I think they took fourth. Yeah. They took fourth. They're it, really good man. We would make more noise if those guys are there. We never really do well at the Ironman. We do we go there like us will say we go there to win it, but you know, they get prepared for state tournaments. When you do two events, how you've stacked it, why do you hand it off to OAC, how you handed it off? OAC knows how to run tournaments. You know, I'm running a company, I'm running this club, you know, I was traveling the whole weekend. It was so nice not to come here after set up mats at 6 o'clock this morning. You know, it's it's a lot. Um, Bill Major did a fantastic job running this tournament for years. Um, last year, he was kind of in and out a little bit because Timmy's in, in high school, and now he's completely gone, so it just made sense to give it to OAC. They know how to run tournaments. Uh, you know, when I talk... We have this like four to four to six year, five to seven year plan where you're going to be out, right? You're not going to be coaching the West Shore anymore. You won't be in defense soap every day. Uh, how much longer do we have now? Well, Max hits high school in four years, so I'm done coaching then. Um, I just got to find a solid replacement. It's hard to find somebody that's going to replace me just because you have to have seven days a week. You have to have the financial backing to do it. You know, it's going to be hard to find the right person to replace me. So that's... That's always, you know, something on, on mind. Um, work, you know, between Charlie, Gus, and Dan, those guys really know how to run a business. Uh, I just kind of do, you know, a little bit of monitoring more nowadays. And they're actually doing the work, so it won't be long. All right, so then it'll be handed off. It'll be those guys running it. Will you still show up? Well, just to be a pain in the ass, really. <laughs> All right, do you realize you have a budding social media star and your daughter, Emma? Emma? I didn't even see Emma today. I think she had gymnastics. She's defend soap. Yeah. But she's, she's barbarian apparel, actually. Good. She, she did defend what you've built multiple times. I'm going to send you those sound bites. They're pretty, they're pretty precious and the little squeaky voice, and you'll like it. But uh, anything else for me? Uh, you're going to be here tomorrow? I, I am. I, I am. I Let's talk, yeah, talk defense soap duels. Go ahead. We're going to be uh, scrapping. Make sure you grab uh, Old Man Waller. He's great that talk. You know I will. Yeah. You know I will. Jimmy Ackley, he's always really good. Love those guys. Um, there's, it's going to be... I, a lot of these guys are my friends, so I like it when they come in and see it. We're going to get some serious wrestling in. And uh, I like Max to be challenged, which is good, and be a good day. Askren back. Uh, Askren's back. Two yeah, teams, well, I heard. Askren wasn't back until his kids started wrestling. So now Askren's back because I was a little kid. <laughs>
When, when he had a little, well, he didn't he like did. it when, you know, ah, oh, they're too young and yeah, too small of weights. Now yeah, there's kids there. Idea, wow, the shoe's on the other foot, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind All of right. Funny. No, you he got, doesn't wear shoes. That's right. He doesn't. <laughs> the flip-flops on the other foot. All right. You got anything else for me? Uh, defend what you built.